The first step is feeling for the soft spot in between thigh bone and shin bone and cleaning the skin right before injecting the numbing medicine, also known as local anesthetic, much like the dentist will use to numb up the skin. After I numb up the superficial skin, I will then take the ultrasound and that will enable me to guide numbing medicine in between the thigh bone and the shin bone most accurately. After injecting, I will then leave for about four or five minutes to let the numbing medicine take full effect. I will then clean up the skin and apply some more sterilizing solution to the skin while the numbing medicine kicks in. At this point now the skin is completely numb and so I will insert the camera in between the thigh bone and the shin bone into the knee joint space. After I'm in the space, I then inject a little bit more numbing medicine just to make sure he will remain comfortable. And after that, I have a saline syringe that just gives me something to flush intermittently to clear the windshield, so to speak. So at this point, now we are starting to see inside of the knee joint, and you can see the real-time camera on the device just above my hands where now I can evaluate the anterior cruciate ligament otherwise known as the ACL. I can also evaluate the meniscus. There's one on the inside and one on the outer side of the knee to see if there's a tear. And I can also evaluate the surface covering cartilage on the thigh bone and shin bone to evaluate for arthritis most accurately. Here you can see the fuzzy material in the middle which represents a meniscus tear. And on the next image you'll see the tan colored end of the thigh bone on top which indicates loss of the pearly white cartilage so this would be arthritis. At this point I will now remove the camera and apply a cleaning solution to the skin which is also an adhesive and I will place butterfly type bandages to cover the poke hole for the next 24 hours. A few minutes after we are done, he will walk out and drive home. There are no restrictions after the procedure.